Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be, or good evening or good night. This is Jen at Jen's Arty Inclinations, a place to create, share and play. Hi everyone. I have these darling little specimen pockets that I did this week. So I thought I'd share with you how I actually put them together. I think they're really cute. I've never gotten around to getting myself a little square punch so I always do mine as little circles but I don't think that matters I think they still look really sweet and yeah as I said I just thought that was so cute that I had to share so I will show you what I did to put these together now I've got a load of these little brown envelopes and I picked them up oh, off Amazon and you know it was like a 200 or something like that so it'll take me a while to get through these so what I do is I snip off the top because then they can be a little bit more like a library pocket pouch you know that's one of the ways I do them anyway I'm doing a few different things now I'm just rubbing over with this stencil to make a little bit of a pattern on the top and I believe that's gathered twigs that I'm using there I love these brushes for actually blending through stencils. I think that they work better than the dobbers. So there we go. Isn't that cute? Now I did decide to do both sides and the back, I just did a little bit more faded because on these ones, I think they are quite nice just stuck down to a page. So I wasn't too fast, but I did the back just in case I changed my mind and I want it to be something that I can pull out. So doing the same on a piece of card. So this card is just the width of, just slightly less than the width of the little envelope that I had, which is a little, what do you call them, coin envelope and or a seed pouch envelope. So I want to make up some as seed packets. I think they'd be cute. And then I just stamped over with, you know, a random script stamp. And on the envelope, I kind of did it in different directions so that it didn't matter which way I put it in the book. I can put it up and down or across. Although at the end, you'll see I kind of changed my mind on that. Now I just used a circle to make a little thumb hole. So a half circle in my punch. And I wanted it to look really different underneath. So I found I could get in there with the brush and the ink to make that different. So all I'm doing is I'm folding the card in half. Very, very easy. And you'll notice it's not quite the height of the envelope because I wanted to add that little tab on top like I did with the others. Very simple here. Just inking all the way around. That's what I like to do. You don't have to do it, obviously. And then I got myself all very awkward. But... <laughs> I did manage to succeed in doing it and all I did was I simply punched a circle on one side of this. Now it did get a little bit stuck but I managed to save it. What I did was I grabbed another piece of card that I had so I shouldn't have actually taken it out like that. I lined it up again and then I grabbed another piece of card and I popped it behind it and then I could punch through because I could just feel it was going to get stuck. So I managed to save it before it actually got stuck. But yeah, my punches always get stuck. It's really annoying. I'm sure that there are, you know, ways to fix that. Now, I didn't mind that this was a bit off center. I liked it, you know, a little bit skew if I told myself, <laughs> but it did still look really cute. So I thought that was fine. Now to get the little piece of plastic, See how I just used a document holder? I just cut up, I had an extra one. It was just hanging out on my desk. So I just used that. But you can use so many different things. You don't have to buy the good acetate, although it's gorgeous when you do use that. But you can use a number of things. You can use, oftentimes when we get our clear stamps, there'll be an extra piece of plastic on top. And sometimes that's excess. So I often use that cut that down you can also use all kinds of packaging so if there's a stiff piece of plastic you can use that you can use sometimes uh, the bags that you know our goodies come in that is you know sufficient to go over 
easiest way to stick these down is double-sided tape. I find with acetate and any kind of plastic, when you're using it like this as a little photo frame cover, I really do find double-sided tape works best. You can use um, glues, obviously, but I think you'll find you'll get an easier result using the double-sided tape. So there you go. I decided I'd just grab a little cut-out butterfly and put that one in. I tried to make it a bit of a different colour so that it does pop off the background. So this one I used blue, which still went nicely with the grey. It's got a touch of orange on it. And I just eyeballed it. You know what I'm like, folks? But if you want to be really careful, use a pencil, go around your circle before you put your acetate on, then put your butterfly down, then rub out your pencil line, and then put your acetate on. The other way is that you can just, before you put your acetate on, put it down and just put your back, your little butterfly on, then put your acetate on. So yeah, a few different ways that you can do it. Easiest way is probably putting your acetate on after so that you can do it that way, but it's really no big deal. Now, I just had that little gumpy bit where it got stuck in the punch. So I put a little paper flower on it and then I used a hole punch for the center of the paper, paper flower. I thought that was pretty cute. And again, I'm using double-sided tape just to stick it all down. You don't have to get it all the way around the edge. You could actually just do it in the corners. You know, that would be more than enough. Sometimes you could uh, just do glue. But yeah, I put it all the way around the edge. It gave it a nice finished look. So then I just did my tab for the top. I did it out of the same card this time rather than doing the contrast. And I put some script stamping on it again. So there you go, sticking it down, popping it on top like so. And voila, that's the little specimen card. Now we're almost finished. All I wanted to do was just finish my pocket envelope rather than leaving it plain. Of course, you could leave it plain because then you could do a stash of them and you could pop on top on the outside anything, you know, that your heart desires to make it work. Now I've got these gorgeous stamps from Witchcraft Do You Do. These are their own stamps and they're all French themed and they're absolutely beautifully. They've been using them for uh, lots of sewing themes and things like that too. So go and have a look at them over on their channel. They're so creative and yeah, I love having another set of stamps from them, you know, support Australian, the fact that they're originals, so they're not going to be something that everybody else has. I think they're just absolutely beautiful. So I masked off a little bit of this one because I thought that would be so sweet on the tab with a little bit of filigree with it as well. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I thought it was really cute. Really finished it beautifully. Now, I decided rounded corners would be easier and look see if you don't have a corner punch use a pair of scissors you can even actually just draw around the edge of a circle if you want to make sure that you do it really nicely but i was only doing a slight corner so i just curved the scissors but yeah if you draw around part of a circle and then cut along that line you'll also get a really nice line <laughs> curved line you know what i'm saying so there you go, it goes really sweetly in the envelope and it tucks right away if you want it or you could just leave it to pop that little top tab out so that people can see. Then I just used, actually, this is one of the Witchcraft Do You Do labels. She's got these really cute butterfly labels in one of the digis, which is absolutely gorgeous. I like their digis. I find them just easy to print, easy to use. They're always a nice variety. And they're always a fantastic price. So there you go. Isn't that sweet? It was just the perfect width. So it looks like it was made for the envelope. Looks like I printed it out, you know, exactly in that size. But I didn't. So there you are. That's all of them together. And you can see there they are in the final book. Also sweet. 
easily just tuck out. You can do them on their sides. You can do them up and down. I just thought it was a slightly different way to do your little specimen slides. Really cute. And, you know, maybe there's something you'd like to have a play with too and easy to do with your circle punches. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. I'd love it if you could leave me a comment below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw today. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time. And in the meantime, keep creating. Enjoy.